we're a country now saturated by images, but we forget that by the end of the 18th century, the early 19th century, a lot of Americans didn't know what their national leaders looked like. There was a demand for likeness. And portraiture fulfilled that likeness. And then the dissemination of those images through prints to the newspapers in handbills, the way in which you really could get a sense of what a, a disembodied voice uh, looked like. And that, of course, is very important in politics. And Jefferson um, was painted and represented frequently, as were most of the founders, or as all of the founders were. In the portrait gallery, we have the 1786 Mather Brown portrait, which was the first oil painting done of Thomas Jefferson. It was painted when Jefferson was ambassador to, to Paris, um, just before the French Revolution. But what I want to point to in this picture is the way in which this is, in many ways, a European picture, I would argue. That it shows Jefferson, uh, the Virginian, um, with, a, with an elaborate wig, an elaborate neck stock. Um, he's very fancily dressed. He has a kind of, a, I have to say, disengaged, haughty even expression. He seems to be looking down his nose which for somebody who's the founder of the modern Democratic Party, that's not really a stance he wanted to take. And in the background, you can see the, the figure of liberty with what appears to be a liberty pole and the Fijian cap. Um, these, the, this, again, this cluttered look. And it's an interesting picture, um, but it seems to me to fit into an almost English tradition or at least a European tradition. And I want to contrast it with our Edge Hill portrait by Gilbert Stewart. And what I want to point you to is not the image of Jefferson, but the background, because the background, you'll notice, is blank. And I think that he's suggesting, in a way, the modernity of Thomas Jefferson, the way in which John Thomas Jefferson is, is, is positioned between an archaic past and a future which was, in some ways, blank and which had to be inscribed. And I, I really think, in some ways, that this, what, to my mind, remarkable picture, that that blank space of the background is as important as the very the very, I think, wonderful picture of the head of Thomas Jefferson. And so you see, it, it, at the beginning of the 19th century, the end of the 18th, the beginning of the 19th century, the start of really the whole image-making industry associated with politics, the notion that you had to know what a candidate looked like, but also, once in power, the candidate would use art and the tools of all the artists that were at his disposal to create a position of power from which they could govern.